this bullet riddled car on the arch grounds. Just the latest example of the repeated violence happening in downtown St. Louis and business owners tell News 4 enough. This latest shooting began on Wash Ave just before midnight. A man was shot multiple times and then crashed on the steps of the Gateway Arch grounds near the Eads Bridge. That man is dead and police say they are still investigating. Good evening, I'm Corey Stark. Samantha has the night off. All summer long, Washington Avenue has been a trouble spot, pulling in more and more city police and sheriff's resources. Tonight, News 4's Damon Arnold reports some want the mayor to come see the problems they're dealing with. We're down here just on Washington and Tucker. This has been one of the hot spot areas for crime in the area. So we asked business owners as well as residents, do they think that the summer violence detail program has been enough? Things can turn up at any moment on this block, so just be prepared and just have your eyes open. Words to live by from business owner Jesse Wolfork after multiple violent crimes on Washington Avenue. With the summer violence detail ending, we're left with the question. Has it worked? No, it has not worked. It's been a horrible job. I feel like the mayor should come down, talk to everybody that own business on the block, people that live down here and get what's going on. The summer violence detail was put into place to add patrols and to cut down on crime, running Wednesday through Sunday. After doing some digging, News 4 noticed that several shootings over the last few weeks were on a Tuesday when the detail was not working. It was still crime almost every day throughout the week. Uh, they, all they did was pretty much reroute the crime. They just put it on other streets. Now it's on Tucker and now it's further uh, by maybe 10th, 11th. Washington type deal, so they're just moving it. Looking at the numbers, homicides are down this year by 35% in the city of St. Louis. With 125 homicides this year, the city is on pace to have the fewest homicides since 2014. Wolfork says he just wants to see change. It, it makes me mad because I live and work down here. I want people to come down here and feel safe and feel like they don't have to run to their car with their bags or whatever. They can park anywhere they want and feel safe. Now, I've reached out to the St. Louis Police Department as well as the mayor's office to see how the summer violence detail program actually worked here in the area. I've yet to hear back, but I'll keep you updated through the KMOV mobile news app. I'm reporting in downtown St. Louis, Damon Arnold, News 4. Well, to reiterate what Damon just said, News 4 has asked both the police department and the mayor's office to get some stats on how that detail has worked, and we'll let you know when we do hear back.